Hey guys, I'm Jackie Downey here with the Red Carpet Report. We're here at UCB's Sunset Location opening, their second location here in LA. Started out with a little right. on proof before you went to New York. Yep. My first question for you with it, the first location in New York, being an old strip club, how's this comparing to the first location? Uh, doesn't smell like dirty condoms. Is that what you're getting to? Yeah. Well, well, congratulations. <laughs> I well, mean, you know what? Awesome. Uh, in the first one, we did all these things ourselves. I, I drove out to a college with these guys, and we bought a bunch of old, um, like, uh, classroom chairs for our, and we broke all the mirrors off the walls, and we cut the runway stage up and made a stage out of it. This one, we did not do the work ourselves. So the mirror, the mirrors in particular, was kind of an epic moment in that the club was surrounded in mirrors like a lot of cheesy strip clubs are and they were glued big time to the walls and we just sat there going how are we going to get these mirrors off the wall they don't come off the wall how are we going to get them off the wall so we did the little rascals method hammer <laughs> we started whipping hammers at the wall which of course thousands of years of bad luck yeah, but it had to be fun, though. Oh, oh it was so yeah. much fun. Yeah, just, just and it also kind of represented how... S it's a, also was obviously a dumb decision, but kind of the way we go about things. <laughs> just yeah. dive into it and get it accomplished. Well, it's when the chaos first began, then, was building all, you know, the first set and getting all those windows down. When the, cha the chaos began back in Chicago, there's always been chaos involved. Like, when I said we were like the little rascals, it was always figuring out stuff and staying one step in front of the law, like pretty, I mean that kind of literally. We, we, sh we shut down, and I'm not even kidding, many theaters in, El in, a, in Chicago. We were the last show, I should say, we were the last show that many theaters in Chicago had <laughs> before they went black. But not because we did anything, we didn't burn them down or anything, it was just, no, so, it just happened. so happened. And our first ever uh, press photograph was us in front of the sign that says the city of the city of Chicago, I just said the city of Chicago. That was a Freudian slip. The city of Chicago shut us down, and that was the that was our press photo. Well, the great thing about the new location too, it's just not um, where people can perform. It's a, like a new hangout. You have the caf uh, the cafeteria area. Yeah, you have right, the new classrooms. Yeah. Well, that's what we've been looking to have is a place where you can have a sense of community because um, that's what's been lacking. You know, the theater. It had a place as a place to perform and it had a green room and it had an audience but there was no place just to hang and this now is like our college campus well that's great because la is also known for being a hard town to get into community so this is letting people kind of yep. spread their wings in a way it is because we love our theater on franklin street our old theater but after a show there was nowhere to hang out you know the green room's kind of small and so you can't get a community that's literally sitting together and creating, but now we have that. And now after classes, people can get together and you'll kind of know, like I went to a thousand person college, that's kind of what we're like. You know, we probably have about a thousand people taking classes, I don't know. But, but you know, I used to know everybody, kind of. If I didn't know their name, I recognize them. I think now we're gonna have more of that, like the UCB community's gonna, everyone's gonna know each other now. That's amazing, thank you so much. I hope you guys have such a great night. And that's it tonight here at UCB's Sunset Opening. I can't wait to see ASCAT and see what they're bringing for us.